Hi friends, welcome back. In the previous video of design of a event detector, we went through the circuit design of an event detector. For two scenarios where the data input to the event detector was asynchronous to its clock domain or it was synchronous to its clock domain. Now in this video we are going to write the HDL code of the both scenarios of the event detector and we are going to synthesize and simulate the design. So let's get started. So this is the HDL code of event detector when the data in each asynchronous. So we have the three inputs clock, reset and data in and one output which is basically generating a one clock cycle pulse whenever there is a rising or falling edge of the data in. So if you see here we have the data in registered through the D flip flop. So whenever there is a reset the D flip flop will get reset otherwise the D flip flop will sample the data in value. Then we have the absorber operation between the data in and the registered value of data in which is nothing but the output of the D flip flop. Then we are basically qualifying these two signals with using the axor operations and the output of the axor operation is nothing but our event pulse. So let's synthesize this design. To synthesize the design, let's select the Yossi synthesis tool and enable the show diagram after run. Save the design and give error. So this is the circuit diagram realized using the Yossi synthesis tool. So if you see here, we have the D flip flop, the data in will get registered here and then the registered data in and the data in will go through the auxiliary operations and we will have the event out output. So this is pretty similar to what we have discussed in our uh, event detector circuit design. So this was our event detector and this is similar to what we have seen in UC synthesized diagram. So now let's simulate this design. I have written the test test bench, very low test bench to simulate this event detector design. So we will go through it. We have the clock reset and data in input signals. We have the event out output signals. This is our DUT instantiation. Then we have a 10 nanosecond clock. Then we are driving the DUT. So initially we are actually resetting the design and asserting the reset and then deasserting the reset and then we are randomly driving the input data in signal and after 100 milliseconds we are finishing the simulation. So let's and we have the the initial block to dump the signals into waveform window. So now select the simulation tool LDEC Rivera Pro simulation tool Check the open EP wave after run and run it. So this is our waveform. So if you can see here, whenever the data in it transitioning from zero to high, we have a clock flux of one clock cycle. So if you see here in the waveforms, whenever the data in is transitioning from low to high, there is a one clock cycle pulse generated at the event detector output. Similarly, whenever there is a high to low transition at data in signal, we again have a one clock cycle pulse generated. Now let's synthesize and simulate the synchronized event detector where we are actually synchronizing the data in input signal in our clock one domain and then we are passing that signal to the uh, event detector and 
the event detector is then generating the event pulse. So here if you see we have the three inputs and one event output output signal and here we are basically synchro synchronizing our input signal. So if you see here on the reset, so we have incorporated two D flip flop synchronizer on the reset. The flip flop will get reset. Otherwise, the flip flop one will get the data input value and the flip flop two will get the flip flop one output value. This is nothing but a two D flip flop synchronizer. Now the synchronized data in value, we are going to register the synchronized data in value using the D flip flop and then using the synchronized data in value output from the D flip flop and the synchronized value coming from the 2D flip flop synchronizer. We are basically qualifying these two signals through the auxor operations and then the output of the auxor operation is nothing but our event output. So now let's synthesize this design. So if you see here, this is our data in, data, data in will pass first through first flip flop, then it will go to second flip flop and this is nothing but our synchronized value, data in value. Then the synchronized data in value we are registering using this D, D flip flop register and the output of this D flip flop register and the synchronized data in value will be going to the auxor gate and we have the finally event out signal. So this is pretty similar to what we have seen in the, our circuit design with the synchronized data in input. Now let's simulate the design. So I have written the test bench. We have these three inputs. This is our output signal. This we have our duty instantiation. Then we have our clock generated, 10 nanosecond clock generated. We are going to initialize the designs, asserting and deasserting the reset signal, and then we are going to drive the data in signal. And we have the we have this code to dump the signals into waveform window. Now let's select the Riveria simulation tool. Enable the open EPV after run and give it. So if you see here, the data in was transitioning at this clock edge from low to high. So whenever the data in transitions from low to high, the data has to pass first through the 2D flip flop synchronizer and then it will go to the event detector. So after the two clock cycles, the data in the synchronized data in will go to the D flip flop register. Here it will get registered and the data in synchronized value will have the auxor operations and during this clock cycle actually or this clock period we will get the pulse. So this pulse will basically get shifted by two clock cycles if we introduce the two D flip flop synchronized in our data in path. One clock cycle and then two clock cycles. Similarly, whenever there is a uh, transition from high to low, after two clock cycles, we again see a pulse generated here. So the pulse basically gets shifted by two clock cycles when we introduce the D flip, uh, 2D flip flop synchronizer. But the advantage of 2D flip flop synchronizer is our data in which is coming from some unknown clock domains will get synchronized within our event detector domain and then we will get a clean event out signal that will not be glitchy that will be a perfect one clock cycle pulse so hope this is clear to you friends i have a question for you so this event detector is basically detecting a one clock cycle pulse or basically it is generating a one clock cycle pulse at every rising and falling edge of the data in input. So if we want to generate a pulse only during the rising edge of the data in and not during the falling edge of the data in, how we can modify this circuit design? Similarly, if we only want 
a globe pulse generated during the following age of the data in how we can modify this circuit design please write down in the comment section if you know the answer otherwise i will cover in some of the next video thank you very much if you liked the content please hit the like button also please do subscribe this channel and enable the notification so you will get notified whenever i uploading new video thank you very much